Have you ever looked at a complex math problem and thought, how on earth do people understand this? Or you may have wondered, can I really learn math on my own and actually be good at it? Hi, I'm Immaculate. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, I share my PhD journey, math tips and insights to help you on your math adventures. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about something that is super important. How do you learn math? Whether you're a student or a professional looking to brush up your skill, or you're just someone out there curious about how to learn math, this video is for you. So grab a notebook and let's dive right in. First of all, why even bother to learn math? Well, math is not just about numbers and formulas. Math is one of those universal language that trains your brain to think logically and to solve problems. One of the best parts about learning math is this. You do not need a classroom to master it. You just need curiosity and a solid plan. When I talk about having a solid plan, let me break this down. The very first thing you have to do is that you need to define your goals. You need to ask yourself, why am I studying math or why do I want to study math? Let's take for example, I want to prepare for a calculus exam, right? If I want to prepare for a calculus exam and I want to ensure I have a good grade in that exam, I want to focus on the syllabus. Not only that, I also want to focus on the problem solved in class. So don't forget, the more specific your goals are, the easier it is for you to stay motivated. After defining your goals, you want to build a solid plan. If you're someone that you're a little bit rusty, you want to revisit the foundational topics like algebra and arithmetic before moving on to the advanced topics. And here is how you can structure your plan. You want to dedicate a constant time each day to study math. Personally, I found that, that studying math very early in the morning works best for me. Why? Because my mind is still fresh and well rested and I can easily grasp something each day. So you want to know which time works best for you. Also, you want to divide your study section into chunks like 35 minutes of study and 5 minutes of break. This is often called the Pomodoro techniques which help your mind to stay focused while learning. While studying, you want to alternate between learning concepts practicing problems and also reviewing your mistakes. With so many resources available, it can get overwhelming. So here are my go-to recommendations. If you're a beginner, you want to check out websites like Khan Academy or YouTube channels like The Organic Chemistry Tutor. And for problem practice, you want to check out websites like Brilliant.org. Brilliant.org is a platform where you can develop your skills in every area of mathematics, ranging from calculus to probability to every areas of mathematics you wish to develop yourself on. And when it comes to textbooks, let's say I want to develop myself in the area of calculus. I want to check out classical books like Calculus by James Stewart. Calculus textbook by James Stewart is one of the most classical textbooks you can ever find in the area of calculus. So you want to check it out. One of the biggest mistakes people make is passive learning. Watching videos and reading textbooks is great, but you have to actively engage with the material. You want to ensure that you work through some example problems. You also want to make sure that you solve through some exercises in the textbooks. And after that, you can then challenge yourself on other problems as you improve. And as you study, you want to remember to always review your mistakes. You want to understand why you got some problems wrong so that you can improve on yourself better. But let's be real. There will always be days when learning math will feel really frustrating. That's okay. There are ways in which you can stay motivated. The first thing is this, you have to track your progress. Having a journal or logs of what you've learned can really help you to stay motivated. Number two is that you have to constantly remind yourself of what your end goal is. And this is what will help you to stay focused. The last thing I would recommend is for you to join an online community. Why? Because engaging with others makes learning dynamic and less isolating. Finally, you want to embrace the challenge. I understand that math can be tough. In fact, that is exactly what makes it rewarding. Every problem you solve strengthens your brain and builds your confidence. Remember that even the greatest mathematicians struggled at some point, but what set them apart is persistence. So keep going because you've got this. All right, that's all for today. Remember that learning math yourself is totally possible with the right mindset, resources, and routine. It is not always easy, but it's definitely worth it. If you find this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Also, let me know in the comment section what math topic you are trying to learn right now. I will be happy to hear about your journey. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. In the meantime, keep learning, stay curious and have fun with math. Bye for now.